Mac, I'm a god, my friends. Hey, it's a donated track by track by my friend Jackson Routing. He wanted me to put Armored Saints Raising Fear up against Man of War Kings of Metal. Now, which one do I like more? Boy, this is tough. I'm going to have to go with Armored Saint. I'm just a huge Armored Saint fan. Now, Jackson, I already did this video and I had to stop and redo it because this has less tracks than this. But, this is what I'm going to do. The CD brings a bonus track, so I'm going to add the bonus track to it. Even though this brings a bonus track too, but we're going to eliminate Crisis of Life, which is an amazing fucking song. And if anybody out there Metal Blade is watching, I know you're re-releasing these on vinyl. Add Crisis of Life on the vinyl. I mean, Crisis of Life is like one of the best songs on this album. I don't know why it's not on the vinyl. So please put it on the reissue vinyl, please. Or re-release uh, Ode to Old School and throw it on there. Whatever. Just give me Christ of Life on vinyl. All right, let's start this. So I'm going to have the CD here and this. I'm going to judge them like that so I don't mess up. All right, so we got Raising Fear versus Wheels of Fire. Uh, Man of War, Wheels of Fire. And I love Raising Fear. Then we got uh, Saturday Night Special versus Kings of Metal. I'm giving it to Kings of Metal. Another one for Man of War. All right, then we got Out on the Limb versus Heart of Steel. Fuck. Heart of Steel. Great example why Eric Adams is one of the greatest and the most underrated singers in metal. An man, three to zero. To the album I like more is losing. All right, then we got Isolation versus Sting of the Bumblebee. Finally. I like Isolation more. Giving that one armor scene. Then we got uh, Chemical Euphoria versus The Crown in the Ring. Another great, amazing ballad to showcase what an amazing singer Eric Adams is. But I got to give this one to Chemical Euphoria. All right, so side one, well, according to Armored Saint, I'm not sure because the track listing doesn't show side one or side two on the vinyl of Man of War. So before we go into side two, what I'm going to start doing now before, like in the middle of the track by tracks, randomly pick an album from the back, from back, just randomly. All right? Only when I remember. I know there'll be future ones I forget to do it, but I remember now, so... Oh, come here, you. California Jam 2. This is awesome. Uh, this has uh, Santana, Dave Mason, Hart. Great, some great art stuff. Ted Nugent, Aerosmith, uh, Jean Michael Jarre, uh, Frank Marino, Mahogany Rush. Hell yeah, California 2. California Jam 2. Great stuff, man. Right on. Hell, when I'm done with this, I'm going to play this. I haven't heard that one in a while. All right, now we go into side two. Frozen Will Legacy versus Kingdom Come. All right, I'm going to have to give that one to Man of War. Man, four to two. Will Armor Saint at least tie this fucker? Let's keep going. Human Vulture versus the bonus track, Pleasure Slave. Human Vulture, by far. Keep that bloody steak away. Crosses burn my eyes. Fuck yeah, Armored Saint, man, that one. All right, three to four. It's catching up, it's catching up. Um, <clears throat> Book of Blood versus Hail and Kill. Damn. I'm going to have to give that one the Book of Blood. It's... It, I just like him. I love Hail and Kill. Book of Blood is kind of like the masterpiece, the epic on this album. Well, Legacy 2. All right, now it's a tie. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now we got Terror versus A Warrior's Prayer. Terror, man. A Warrior's Prayer is just some kid talking to his grandfather. I don't care for that. Oh, man. All right. Armored Saint is in the lead by one. And Man of War, it's five to four. 
this next one will say if Armored Saint wins or if Man of War gets it, it'll be a tie. Which is Underdogs, what a song that is, versus Blood of the King. Oh, I know what I'm picking. I'm going to pick it right now. I just picked it. So that means... It's a tie. I gave it to Man of War. Wow, that was a good battle. Uh, please leave your track by track if you're aware, especially you, Jackson. I'm sure it's going to be kind of different because you and I, we disagree a lot, bro. But that's cool. I don't care. I don't, wickle pi I don't whistle pickles. And anybody else that knows these albums, leave, uh, leave it down there, man. And, and, uh, I like reading stuff like that. And if you like to donate, i got a PayPal below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I would really appreciate that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Smack em a gob! This track by track album battle was brought to you by the love I have for my second favorite Wasp album, Headless Children, right behind the very first Wasp album. This album's epic. This album rules. Absolutely love it. It's a mean motherfucking album. Bye!